That, that makes some, so much sense. And I love that example of Zappos and the 50-50 split in there. Because I think what I hear you saying is that when if you're there's almost like a, a beginning of that journey, the hero's journey you're about to go on. Hey, this is going to be, a, it has to be a serious deal. Might as well not even do it if we're not going to uphold that. Because the two deficits are that if you as a manager are not upholding the values, well, that reduces the integrity and, and creates cynicism, like you said. But it also as an organization reduces the integrity overall because now we're not living by our stated purpose. So it can't just be an exercise and uh, checking off a box it has to be a commitment. And how do you operationalize that? It sounds like the feedback reviews, uh, hopefully more than once a year, of course, are um, actually one way to do that. Yeah, I think that's right. And just a couple other quick things. I mean, one of the good ways that we've seen where companies and organizations actualize this is they don't just have a word for their values. They have a word with an explanation that they, you know, they really describe what specifically they mean by it. And then you can go further and say, what are the behaviors? And you've got bullet points of like three to five behaviors for every value. And so then when you go into review, you're not just talking about integrity. You're not just in the abstract or you're not just talking about quality. You're saying, OK, bullet point one, you know, what did you do to uphold the commitments you made to customers? OK, bullet point number two. So it becomes much, gives it much more specificity and concreteness. Um, and, and the other thing I'll say is that, you know, back to the trust piece, a lot of people view the ethical stuff as like, oh, well, that sounds nice and abstract and philosophical, but, you know, this is the real world, John. You know, we got we to gotta meet our numbers and I'm under pressure. And that's true. But if you don't have the ethical imperative, you literally erode your ability to drive business value and performance over time. So it literally will work against your, you know, some of the imperatives that you have in terms of your results imperatives, because people will leave, customers will, you know, not trust you with their business anymore, suppliers won't work with you anymore. And so, but if you do it well, you build a trust bank account that actually shows up in your bottom line, as, as well as in this, in the experience that customers and employees have of affiliating with you. 